Is there a way to manage anxiety using Hasidic teachings? Absolutely, there's a way to do it. The Rebbe described once that there were some very nervous Hasidim of his worried about missing a plane. He said if they would only focus on the world being created every single second, and they realize only the second exists and nothing else. And then they wouldn't worry. Now, why wouldn't they worry? Because they think about how the world is being created every second. It's because if we understand that according to Hasidic philosophy, it's not that the world was created thousands of years ago and just continues on that original state of creation. According to Hasidus, the world is being recreated every single second. And Hasidus borrows the analogy of physics, that just like a rock being thrown into the air only exists in the air because a power of a throw is propelling it high, because its natural state is to be on the ground. So too, our world's natural state is not to exist. Thousands of years before the world existed, there was nothing. Eternal nothingness. And then suddenly there's a world. So just like you take a rock off the ground and cause it to do something unnatural as flying in the sky, it needs a power of a throw propelling it up every second. So to our world, to have the world suddenly exist is unnatural. You need a power of a throw, a power of creation propelling it. If a person would meditate on those concepts, they would feel as if nothing else exists except that moment. And the last moment is long gone. Next moment is yet to be created. And they live in an oasis in time devoid of stress or anxiety. Now, in order to experience that, we're going to do a two-minute meditation. A guided mental imagery. We call it his bodiness in Hebrew. The screen's going to go blank. I'm going to ask you just to shut off all your cell phones. Don't look at text. Just absorb the images as I describe them. We'll meet in two minutes and you'll get a feel for how living the moment makes you feel as if nothing else exists. No worries, nothing. Now, the Hasidic approach to living the moment is based on realizing how the world does not exist on its own, but rather it's being propelled into existence, much like a rock is being propelled to fly on high by the power of a throw. So let us imagine a rock. Literally imagine a rock on the ground in its initial state of inertia. That rock would never fly on high unless there was an external force of a throw propelling that rock off the ground and into the sky. As long as that force is there, the rock flies on high. Should that force stop, the rock will fall back down into its initial state on the ground. So according to Hasidus, the same thing is with our world. Our world also had initial state, an initial state of nothingness. In order to get our world out of its state of nothingness and into existence, there had to have been an external force, a force of creation propelling our world into existence. As long as that force is there, the world exists. Should that force stop, the world would fall back down into a state of non-existence. In order to imagine that, let's imagine what was before the world. And you would imagine a state of absolute nothingness. You'd imagine a state in which there's no up and there's no down. No right, no left, no me, no you. Nothing. According to Hasidus, in that absolute state of nothingness was an ever-pervading, infinitely expansive, all-encompassing emanation of God. And this, that there was no up, and there's no down, no right, no left, because all was one. That feeling of there being nothing but the oneness of God, there's no past, no future, just the present moment, creates a feeling of comfort. Everything's good. There's no anxiety.
Thank you.